What's up, guys? What's up, guys? We are about to open up the vlog. Before we do, we had an exciting announcement to make. Yes, our exciting announcement is that if you guys watch one of our previous videos, you know that we are in the market to be trying to build a house, and we got some renderings drawn by mm. We Plan Homes, and they are amazing. Yes, so they're actually creating a, like, virtual video of what our house is gonna look like. Which so you we, could like walk through it. Yeah, before, so cool. before it's even built, which is really cool, which we're excited to share with you guys. Which brings us to the point that we are in the market for a builder. We live in Georgia, so for any of you, Oki, I mean Halsey, I need my finger. <laughs> for any of you builders out there in Georgia that wanna build our house, or if you know of a good builder, send them our way. Contact us at natansutton at gmail.com with the subject, I want to build your house. <laughs> and we're looking for you. That's the announcement for now. Let's get into the vlog. What's up, guys? Nate and Sutton back with another video. And today we are vlogging. Back finally with another video. We've finally. skipped on you guys for I think the past two weeks. It's been a busy time of year for us. You know, we're in the wedding industry and everyone wants to get married in October, which we're thankful, but it just makes us very busy. So where are we going today, guys? We're back, we're back with some fun. Okay, what you see? He loves his books. So we got cute baby number one. Cute baby number two. Good, good job. Getting his animal noises in. Anyway, where, where, where are we going today, Sutton? We are going to the ah. mountains, to Tennessee. Ah. Mm. Yeah, so last year I decided that this is a tradition that I want to do. I want every year for the fall, I am like in love with the fall, the leaves. And here in Georgia, in the mountains, up in Tennessee, it gets beautiful. So... The trick is hitting it at the right time. We don't mm -hmm. know if we're going to hit it at the right time, but we're giving it a shot. So today's Halloween. Oh, yeah. Forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> so we want to make it a tradition to start going up to the mountains every fall as a family and to enjoy the foliage, the, the beautiful colors. Let's talk about Halloween. We get asked a lot if we're going to celebrate <laughs> Halloween or not, and I'll tell you guys my thoughts on it. I obviously think it's wrong to like the witches and the full moons and like decorate your house all scary and all that stuff. I'm not for that. But like as far as... Do you think it's wrong or do you think that you're just not for it? You said it's definitely... Oh. You said you think it's wrong. That's a statement. I would think <laughs> you gotta it's... Gotta be careful what you say on that. Yeah, here. I would think it's wrong probably. Yeah, it seems a little odd to me to be like... Like there's a person in our neighborhood that has like a dead girl on her porch. You know, something about that just seems a little odd to me. But as far as like dressing them up in cute outfits where they get to one day to pretend to be something else and getting candy innocently, I don't see a problem with that. Like a lot of things in life, I do believe it's kind of like where your heart is, where your intentions are. On another note, I don't really know how I feel about Halloween. Um, part of me is like, yeah, you know, you're just, just dressing up, being cute, having fun. But then another part of me is like, are we celebrating Satan's holiday? So I don't know. It's, it's um... Last year we didn't do it. This year we're not doing it. So I'd rather just make it a tradition to go to the mountains, take a trip, do something fun as a family. Because who needs candy anyway? We might get him some candy. Should we get him <laughs> some candy in our little cabin? He's never had candy. Has he just really realized. Not? Wow. No, he's never had it. So anyway, um, we ran out a cute little cabin for the night with a jacuzzi. Oh, you want to go in the jacuzzi? Anyway, we're about to hit the road. A little nervous about this car ride. It's about three and a half hours with two babies. We're leaving at nap time, so that's either a genius idea or like a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. There they are. We see them. So far, the car ride's going pretty good. Oki sleeping. Oki's eating. All 
right guys, we have made it. This may look like an average river walk to you, but to us, it's- Serenity. Oh. The drive, it went great the first like two hours, but that last hour and a half, ooh. Things were going downhill really fast. <laughs> We pulled into Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which by the way, for any of you guys that are considering going to Gatlinburg, Don't. I never want to see that city again in my life. <laughs> we went right down over the mountain to another place called Pigeon Forge, and this is what I'm talking about. They have a nice, calm river walk. The reason that Gatlinburg was so crazy is we were stuck in like traffic like you would not believe. That place- Lawson was sleeping up until that point, but as soon as our car stops, he's just like, what? That place was like an amusement park and it was just bumper to bumper traffic. Both of them were screaming and crying. But now we found a peaceful- They wanted to get in the back seat. And those are the times that you just don't think to pull the camera out. No. This is why we came here. <laughs> these, he found his little treasures. These two leaves right here is the whole reason we came to Tennessee. <laughs> Where's the leaves? Three, right two, one. <laughs> Whoa, look at the big pumpkin. Okay, how you feel about that? <laughs> we made it. Look at this place. Wow, smells so cabinishy. Look at this. Look at that view. Heck yeah. We're home. You see that loft? Come on downstairs. Everything like what? Like our room, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Check out the little downstairs area. Got two porches. And there the jacuzzi is. Sutton, so, you think we'll be getting that jacuzzi later? I know. Jump. Woo! Bye. <laughs> Whoa. Good job. Okay, look at all the toys they got for you here. You see all the toys? Finally enjoying himself. I think we could live here, me and him. <laughs> We're back home. We're back home, right where we belong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trip was fun. It was uh, short. And. <laughs> intense would we do it again eh. yeah it was you know we made some memories but i think we kind of walked away with the same lesson that we walked away with from our mexico trip no it couldn't be that bad of a lesson yeah it wasn't that bad but <laughs> it was just traveling with kids with babies is hard i just think if we would have gone and stayed a little longer it would have been more worth it but you know we were just in and out like it was just one night um but they slept great and everything, which is really nice. But that car ride, it got serious. It was not that bad. It was. But anyway, we, we didn't vlog as much as we were hoping to because it just seems so chaotic and busy with them. Yeah, just traveling with kids is just a lot. There's a lot of things to bring, a lot of things to remember. Trying to do their schedule at a new location is not the easiest thing. But me and Nathaniel love to travel, so. I think yeah. we just need to hold our breath until our youngest is like three and then we're wide open. Yeah, we have this dream of traveling with our kids, but I think we're gonna have to wait a few years. People do it, but, and you can do it. It wasn't that hard, but is it like the most convenient and enjoyable thing? I would say probably not. He's trying to suck his thumb with the bottle. That's his new move. He needs both of them at the same time. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is Nate and Sutton. That was our vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.